Good morning. Welcome to the uh, Path of Wildness, Wildness Meditation for July 26th or 27th. I can never remember. 2017. 16. You can't even get the year right. I've got to keep these shorter. Um, I've been running out of uh, memory on my camera and they've been cutting off you know, near the end. So I'll try to keep this uh, brief. The uh, Path of Wildness Meditation is a uh, daily uh, exercise to uh, remind myself of the uh, principles and objectives of my personal philosophy called the Path of Wildness. There are three objectives and seven principles. The uh, three objectives are as follows. First is the uh, development and maintenance of uh, good life principles. The second is the uh, performance of uh, uh, the management of good the execution of good emotional reactions to the circumstances of life. And the third is the performance of uh, good actions based on the uh, principles that I uh, maintain and abide and adhere to. The uh, objectives, um, well, I talked about those. The uh, principles now are seven. Whoa, that person totally ran the red light. Not even close. The first is the uh, principle of, uh, uh, the atomic principle. I always start off with saying it the wrong way. The atomic principle, which is uh, the idea that everything is made of bits and pieces and that uh, whatever we are today was something else yesterday and will be something still different tomorrow. And uh, to keep that in mind, which helps us to remember that change is, a, uh, is, is something that's a part of the nat nature of the universe and that uh, we should act, act at the um, most opportune moment. Uh, putting things off too long, we'll, uh, we won't be around to can you carry it on. The uh, second uh, <coughs> principle is the principle of nature. Everything in the universe has a particular nature and uh, we operate and live best when we live in accordance with that nature. Humans have a particular nature, which is to uh, use our big brains to uh, solve problems and understand the world. And individuals have a nature as well, which is a combination of how they were raised and perhaps their uh, genetic uh, uh, disposition. And if you can understand uh, what that is, what your own nature is, and then uh, live according to that nature, then you'll probably live a more peaceful, more fulfilling life. For example, my nature is to uh, to walk alone in solitary places, think. And I'm at my best when I do that. <laughs> Even if I don't produce anything, just the very act alone is uh, fulfilling my nature. The uh, third the third principle is the uh, principle of uh, a social principle. Human beings are social animals. We need one another. Uh, and uh, our best living and our best ends are social ends. We get the most bang for our buck, the most uh, mileage out of our acti of our, out of our effort when we uh, pursue those ends. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't pursue our individual ends, our ambitions either. But uh, just to keep in mind that uh, you're probably doing better when you're uh, looking after the welfare of the group. The uh, fourth principle is the principle of uh, temperance, of uh, moderating our appetites, controlling our consumption regulating our response to our emotions. Remember there's the passions and then there's the pre-passions. The pre-passion being that momentary flush you feel when you first have an emotional experience. Uh, and you really can't control that, that just comes. The uh, passion then is when you uh, indulge in that, when you run with it. And uh, for example, let your temper flare or uh, decide to uh, overindulge in eating or whatever the case may be. When you basically run away, let you let yourself run away with your emotions, let yourself run away with your desires. Uh, temperance uh, is is a recommendation to uh, control those. It doesn't mean you can't have fun. It just means that uh, when you do have fun, you have to when you do have excess fun, you have to realize that it's coming at a price. You're uh, you're not ex you're not you're not ex exercising virtue at that moment. In fact, you're you're doing the opposite. You're uh, you're basically uh, living a more um, animalistic, uh, base uh, way of uh, simply uh, responding to emotions. It's better to uh, be able to control 
and to think our way through life, not at all times, but whenever possible, to live a more mature, reasoned, uh, considered approach, especially when it comes to uh, living on a planet with finite resources and finite time for us. The next principle is the principle of the Great Indifference, which is the uh, uh, awesome uh, uh, nothingness of, of caring. That's a weird way to say it. It's out there, standing alone in wild places, and realizing that what you're, you're surrounded with uh, nothing but wild, nothing but, uh, but, but nature, nothing but uh, reality, that there appears to be uh, no, there's no evidence of, of, of whatsoever, or no good evidence, I should say, that there's anything more out there than uh, the uh, uh, nature itself. No God, no sentience, no loving, uh, guiding hand. Uh, we are uh, runaway chemical reactions uh, on, a, on a planet with a uh, very uh, hostile environment for, most, for life in most places. And I'm sure there's types of life that adapt, but for, for example, us humans, without modification, without protection, there's very few places we can actually live for very long. If you uh, look out in the universe or you go into the wild and you think you, that you are experiencing something that might be like God or something caring out there, I challenge you that you're actually having a conversation with yourself and you're feeling it within yourself that it's not actually there. And I, uh, I would love to hear your evidence to show that it's otherwise and ask you how do you distinguish between uh, an internal dialogue and uh, a, a real dialogue with some outside agency. That is the great indifference. The uh, next principle, sixth principle, is the principle of uh, reason, which is the governing faculty, the way that we make sense of the world, the way that we understand what uh, what is true. And reason is a, is a method by which we uh, look at the facts of life. Uh, we gather those facts and put them together in such a way as to create premises and build arguments which uh, propose conclusions and which we can use to make predictions about the life, about the world. And if those predictions yield truth, show to be true, then we have some reason to believe that our, uh, our arguments are correct. And then we go forward with them with a guarded nature always looking for the exception and an opportunity to improve that argument. That's, uh, that's reason. Reason is the arbiter of truth. And uh, finally, we have the principle of uh, virtue, which is the purpose of life. Virtue is uh, living a life in such a way that, uh, you, that we can uh, improve the general welfare of our species, our society and the world around us while not compromising the uh, uh, rights of individuals. It's a very uh, tricky balance to uh, make sure that we um, protect the rights of individuals from the uh, will and interest of the, of the masses, something that uh, the best governments around the world have identified, exemplified in uh, documents such as the Virginia Federalist Papers that led to uh, the Bill of Rights forming uh, the initial part of our con U.S. Constitution, even things like the Magna Carta. Any uh, good system of government is going to uh, have provisions to identify and protect the rights of individuals. So too, the path of wildness, we have to uh, do that as well. And for the most part, I leverage the uh, Bill of Rights uh, as, 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 a, as an excellent document for that. You know, I want to work on it myself a little more and have my own ideas about it, but that's what I use at this time. So, uh, uh, how can we then live a life of virtue where we uh, are producing good works? Oh, it, well, being careful about as individuals. Well, we can do so by uh, living a path where we recognize that uh, time is short, that uh, what we are is transitional, and uh, likewise the rest of the universe, and expecting it as such. Where we uh, under, look, seek after our own individual nature and live as best we can in accordance with that. So we pursue social ends. Uh, we temper our, our emotions and desire for, for consumption. We uh, exercise moderation. We 
look out and see the great indifference and uh, remember that uh, if we want to have love and the better things of, uh, of, of companionship, we better look to ourselves, to our families, to our loved ones, to our society, uh, not to uh, an invisible ghost somewhere in the universe. Maybe our pets do. And uh, also a uh, life lived uh, guided by reason. Very importantly, guided by reason, where uh, reason is the arbiter of truth. And there you go, that's the path of wildness for uh, this day. Path of wildness meditation is complete. Hey, just, uh, just over 10 minutes. Pretty better time. Good time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.